I didn't feel the need to spend money on this. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Notorious, and to the I to the A. And today, I know you guys are probably surprised about the title. If you guys have never been on my channel before, I do do Ivy Park reviews for pretty much almost every drop. And this time around, this one is a bit different. I didn't purchase anything. Today is actually release day and your girl hasn't purchased anything. So I'm gonna get into why I didn't buy anything. Also get into my thoughts on Ivy Park because I'm starting to think that they are heading in the wrong direction. And I would hate to see that because I honestly really do love Ivy Park and wanna see them do well and succeed. But so far they kind of have me a little bit confused now i think this is the perfect example of you know everything isn't for everybody and i definitely have to let you guys know that i am not the biggest fan of red definitely not somebody who wears red a lot i tend to stray away from red quite actually so i already knew that this collection wouldn't be for me however i am a big fan of valentine's day I love Valentine's Day. I love love. I love the messaging. I love the colors. I love the kisses. I love the hearts. Like I love everything that you see around Valentine's Day. But outside of not liking the color red because I was saying I do need to add some more red to my wardrobe. You know, step outside my comfort zone. It also has patterns and fabrics that honestly I just don't know where I would wear or where I'm going in that. And I said this in the Holes of Ivy video, but we pressured them to kind of step outside the box because a lot of people were complaining that it was becoming repetitive and all they're going to do is drop the same thing in different colors. But now I feel like they're giving us stuff that is too high fashion to the point where the wearability gets lost because it's like, where am I going to wear this oh i have a whole resolution this year to actually wear my clothes and as far as purchasing something from this drop i don't think i would be doing the best with that you know, normally if i don't buy anything i won't come and i won't say anything but it's starting to concern me because i feel like i've had the same positioning with icy park and the only reason, the only reason they got me with Halls of Ivy is because that collection did have my favorite color in it. I just feel like they've been on this decline. They are doing a lot of switching up and we're noticing, but I don't know if we're noticing in a good way. I don't wanna say they disappointed me, but they disappointed me. I was expecting so much more. Let's explore the collection. Beyonce did do an interview in Vogue. She said that she designed this collection in honor of the Universal Celebration of Love, which is Valentine's Day. I use fabrics and textures that mimic the figurative languages of love. False latex, sheer illusion mixed with spandex, printed sequin, 90s velour, printed fur, and cuddle up cozy knits. Repetitive hearts create the pattern of the snake print sequin trench coat that also doubles as a dress as well as the spandex and active wear. So I can clearly see that there was some intention with this collection. She said that she used fabrics and textures that mimic the figurative languages of love. And typically, yes, you would see things like mesh and latex in lingerie. So I could see where the inspiration was coming from. I just don't know how wearable these pieces would actually be. Once I read this, I started to understand the make skin better. I'm very picky with my textures and patterns so I'm not the biggest fan of snake skin but once I saw that the hearts were incorporated into the snake skin I was like okay that is a cute touch but again that fabric is so loud that it's like where are we going I just had to make the executive decision to say that this collection just simply wasn't for me and that's okay but I am overall just worried about if Ivy Park is having a downfall I just feel like 
they are starting to trend in the wrong direction and I hate to say that because obviously I am an Ivy Park stan I do love their stuff I do support the brand but they had a downfall before and I definitely would not want to see them have a downfall again now one thing I would say about this collection is I don't really think it was meant to be marketed to the United States consumer base or the UK consumer base. I did notice a heavy Asian influence over this collection and it kind of made me think that this collection wasn't really made for us anyway. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. It's simply just something that I noticed and it made me think that, okay, maybe they are trying to broaden their horizons and maybe this honestly was not for their United States or UK fan base. And that's perfectly fine, especially if you expand it into another market. You do want to tap into that market. Have those people see that they are represented in your brand as well. Now, if you follow Ivy Park or if you follow just anything going on with Ivy Park, you've probably seen that yeah, Ivy Park was hiring a, or is still hiring, I'm not even sure, new activewear designer. And I think they know that they need help. I think they know that they need some fresh ideas because a lot of us are just starting to lose interest. It's starting not to become something where it's like every drop we're panicking and we need to shop and we have to see it and we have to get something. It's becoming a little bit more lackluster and the excitement around the brand is dying down. They definitely have been moving out of strictly active wear and they have been giving us a lot more high fashion pieces like that sequin coat that they've been dropping for the past two drops. Yes, I can appreciate it because I am a fashion girl, but if we're being realistic, where are we wearing this to? Let's look at the collection together. I would have loved to see a lot more of this pink. That's the color I probably would have went for, that pink. Like those pink Ultra Boosts, if I wore Ultra Boosts, I 100% would have went for those Ultra Boosts. I could understand it's Valentine's Day, typically you think pink and red. So this knit romper, I think this is really cute. The color contrast on it between the red and the pink, that is really cute. It's tight because on the back of the leggings, it does say be mine. And I think that's really cute. Now, if I was gonna explore something in this collection, I definitely would go for bottoms. And I think it's easier to incorporate a color into your wardrobe when you try it on your bottom half first. And that's just based off of my expertise. And like I said, I do like this snake print. I do think it's really cute. So those leggings or tights are also cute, but it's just like, I would not have anything to wear that way. This crop turtleneck I think is really cute. Now this I feel like is one of the more wearable pieces out of this collection. also think the hoodie is really cute. These are the pieces I would get and yeah like I can't get the latex. This burgundy snake print and the burgundy velour I just yeah no. And scrolling down to these shoes. This collection they just went straight like just straight out the gate with something different and we get some Stan Smiths which is a popular shoe but they kind of just look like rubber bands to me like this does not look cute and then we have the dad shoe the savage shoe I don't I don't get the hype around this shoe these pink ultra boots I think is the best shoe in this drop and then you have the slides, which personally, you know, slides are cool, but I just don't like the way that their slides are shaped. You know, of course you're gonna have your solid fan base. They have built a solid fan base. There's people who are gonna shop every drop regardless. But those of us who actually have been shopping with intention and actually, you know, were drawn in, those people are kind of looking at these past few drops like, I don't know, I'm losing interest in Ivy Park. I think the reason why is they're trying to push in a more high fashion direction while also keeping that active wear vibe. I understand being unique. I understand being different. I understand pushing the limits. You have to maintain the brand's integrity and pushing too far in the fashion direction, a lot of people are not gonna know how to wear these pieces. I just would love to see them get it together. I get back to the original energy, just continue to succeed. But so far, the moves that they're making, I don't know. And I don't wanna have to come back next drop and be like, I spend zero dollars again. So I'm sure I will see people who slay and body this collection. But personally for me, I know you guys were probably, if you watch my videos, I know you were expecting me to come and be like, I spent 
$600 and I spent $400 and I spent, you know, $1,000. Nah, baby, this time I spent, I spent $0 and I'm shocked that I'm saying this on my mouth because every drop they've gotten me at least with one thing. And this drop, I'm just like, wow, I really don't feel the need to spend my money on this. I felt like it would kind of just be one of those things that sits in my drawer. One thing I'ma do, I'ma at least buy it and try it out like I did with Icy Park for you guys. And I don't know, I just feel like there was a bigger conversation that needed to be had here. And I just wonder if anybody else is seeing this too, if anybody else is concerned. So if you're an Ivy Park stand and you're kind of concerned about the direction that the brand is going, and you just want them to get it together because you thoroughly enjoy this collaboration and the quality of the clothes. I just feel like they missed the mark on this one. And this isn't the first time I felt like this. So this is why I felt like I need to sit down and have this conversation. But it's to each his own. By no means am I saying that it's a bad collection. We're noticing that they started here and they're slowly making their way down. I thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on Ivy Park and the direction that they're currently trending in. If you shop this drop, let me know why. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.